Hi, my little happy honey. Oh, hi, whoever you are. So today is... Uh, sorry, it's really sore here at the moment. I don't know why. It's just really sore on my elbow right here. Like, not even my elbow, like the bit before my elbow. Like, the bit of the bone. That's why I winced. Also, by the way, it's not... Be the redness isn't because it's hurting. I always have a red elbow. Um, always. Like, you can ask anyone. I won't even be leaning on anything and my elbow will be red. I have a red elbow. This one is always red and I don't know why. It's just that's the colour it is. It's just that's what it's like. See the difference? And even when I'm not leaning on this elbow, it's always red. Like, always red. Like, don't think, oh, you've been leaning on something, that's why. No, I, I wake up in the morning and it's still red. Like, I just have a red elbow. That's a fun fact about me. I just have. A red elbow and the skin is like kind of like there's like um rough so I've got like a smooth elbow and then you've got a rough elbow <laughs> yes anyways this is the content you signed up for the tea on my elbow anyways so um today is the 6th of July 2020 mm, I don't know why that's an ooh but it's a brand new day! <laughs> I was gonna say the swear word with it and then realised shouldn't do that. Also, any background... Any background... Okay, Tristan. <laughs> any background noise you hear will be my family living their life at the moment. Tristan is having a tantrum. One second. Let's try that again. Any background noise you hear will be my family living their lives because obviously I make videos in a large household. I have horrible backache. Ow, that really hurt. I sat down, my back was like <laughs> pain. Anyways, so um, any background noise you hear will be my family living their lives. Tristan was just having a tantrum over the fact he could not find my brother Ethan. But as you can hear, things have been resolved. So, um, today is, I said the date, what was I going to say? Today's video is me answering some questions that I've collected over the past, like, month. Some questions that I got that... I think it would be really interesting to answer and I'm just in a question answering mood. I could do a BuzzFeed quiz and I could say my answers that way but I've been collecting these questions so I'm gonna answer them like any time I got asked a question about myself I remembered it and I want to answer them in a video. I mean not every single question someone's asked me because <laughs> we'd be here a while but I've got some questions and like I don't think any of them are cerebral palsy related but nice plug um I have a cerebral palsy related channel so if you want to check that out it's always in the description I do need to make more videos for it I'm well aware that I need to make more videos for it I just haven't been the most motivated human on the planet but I'm hoping to come back soon and I know I keep saying that I know I've been saying that for like two months at this point probably three but I promise you I do want to come back. I'm just trying to find the time to feel good enough to film because that channel is actually really important to me. That's why this content's taking so long because I don't want to make a video that isn't to a good standard. And this channel's more relaxed. This is like me talking to like a friend. This is like, hello guys, let's chill out. Let's express. Let's be like a bunch of friends talking, kind of. Except you know me and I don't know you probably. And if any of my real life friends are watching this, hi. Anyways, or anyone in my life is watching this, hi. Anyway, so I rambled on for way too long. I'm gonna have to edit this anyway because I have to leave the video. Um, time for some questions. Right, that's cool. Um, time to answer. So. Here is the first question that we're going to read. 
What do you miss most with lockdown? Oh, start off right away. What do I miss most with lockdown? I miss not leaving my house because that sucks. Like, I miss not seeing my friends. I miss the fact that everything's so weird and tense in my life and, like, the whole not being able to, like, give your friends a hug, you know? I miss that part of it. I miss the social aspect, definitely, because basically I had to finish my last, like, few months of college online and I miss out on a lot of stuff there because I'd rather have been in my college finishing my course and not on a computer but that's just the way things have to go and honestly safety is the most important thing so if it kept people safe that's okay um could I do a room tour I could do a room tour but my room is a mess <laughs> so when I get my room together and when it looks decent I will do a room tour for you guys but something I can show you from my room is that background I love it anyways so what are your favorite clothes my favorite clothing is black skinny jeans hoodies tank tops preferably black um one of my favorite pairs of trousers I like these black leggings with like leather down the side. I love those. So that's some of my favourite clothing. These bambi pajamas are alright. You're rocking the bambi. <laughs> Be a perfect day out for me. A perfect day out for me right now that I really miss doing would be going to McDonald's with my best friend and seeing her and talking to her and telling her how much I miss her and us just hanging out like normal, um, hanging around town with my friends, going to the cinema would be nice, although the real talk, the cinema makes me, I'm a very anxious person, the cinema kind of spikes that for me, but like watching the movie and being with my friends is nice, but I do get anxious, but like that's something I overcome because you got to spend time with your friends, but I would love to maybe go to the park with my friends, maybe go to town with my friends. I miss my friends. What book are you reading now? I am reading Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare from the Infernal Devices series that she writes, but I haven't got very far. I've been reading that for like literally since May, but it's because my brain has not been in the right place to read, even though I'm a massive bookworm, so that is very sad. Um, what is your favourite comedy? slash soap program slash documentary etc on the television um that's a hard one because i don't really watch tv anymore like trying to think what i would say i used to watch when i was like 16 when i get home from school after doing my gcses i'd get home from school and i'd watch evil online and the perfect murder um those kind of shows with my little brother bradley because we are a bit obsessed with crime stuff it's interesting to us um what other shows would i say um try not to think of like netflix shows <laughs> um i'm not too sure what i'd say for like television watching if i'm honest but evil online is the first thing that came to mind and i haven't watched that in like two years oh number seven is why am i scared of windows <laughs> Basically, for those of you that are confused, I'm not literally scared of windows, like I don't look over at the window and go, ah, no, it's when it gets dark, basically, when it gets dark, I have this, like, irrational fear that someone is, like, outside the window, like, gonna get me, um, my brain just plays tricks on me and I don't like looking out the window because then I get scared and I think someone's watching me, that is why I'm scared of windows, in the dark. When it's the daytime, I don't care if a window's there, it's at night, I- Windows in a dark room? Nope, 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 nope. What's involved in making a video? Um, It depends on like the level of effort you put in, which sounds really bad, but it's true. Um, And like, bish bash bosh, and like, just... Finished, like... I'm but... My brain is melting, anyways. But... Um, 
you could make a video really fast like if i wanted to i could make a webcam video and have it uploaded within like five minutes the video could be like three minutes long and then just quickly upload to youtube but it's like the amount of effort you put into a video so sometimes i can make a video in like 10 minutes other times it takes three days it really depends on the amount of effort you put in what is your earliest memory um kind of hard to remember what my earliest en enemy <laughs> enemy <laughs> what my earliest memory would be but it would probably be in tunisia when i spilt hot milk all over my mum and cried great first memory <laughs> well done that was the first memory that popped into my head but like probably stuff from tunisia no no i know my youngest memory i know my youngest memory it was getting a husky bag in spain basically my parents flew only me out to spain because i was like a premature little child right and i was like the baby at the time the baby so they didn't want to leave me behind so they left my eldest two siblings with my nan and granddad they took me to spain so i've been to spain before i just don't remember it it's the crazy thing like out of all my siblings i've been to spain i just do not remember it at all except in the shop one of the shops i really 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 wanted a husky bag and um i remember receiving that bag and it was like a teddy slash bag like it was like a one of those like teddy bags and i loved it and i've always loved huskies like that is literally one of my earliest memories um so yeah, it was receiving a husky bag in Spain. I just remembered that. Because I've been to Spain, just do not remember it. Except for that one thing. And it wasn't even about Spain. Anyways. <laughs> oh damn. No, we are leaving that one out too. <laughs> we, no, no. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry guys. I'm not answering. Ambitions my ambitions in life let me see um i'm trying to think a general view of my life i don't know what i'm doing career wise but i want a family i do know that i i have just got called for dinner but that was the first section of my questions um answered so i will be making a second video Ooh, woo -woo. or maybe i'll just put them all into one massive video i don't know but for now subscribe to come around to join our quest madness i'm at mad on the line never say that and until next time goodbye have a lovely day